Now you guys know I'm about to go in on some cleaning when you see me doing an oil scalp treatment and putting my hair in a slick back bun. Oh bitch, we're ready to do some cleaning. One step forward, two steps backwards, yeah. And much more lover who don't you for today's clean with me, I figured we can start with the downstairs because I would be lying if I said the downstairs was not absolutely disgusting. Which is crazy because I just cleaned my white sofa about like a week and a half ago, right before Easter, and now it's just like filthy, dirty, disgusting. Ugh. That really is just the reality of having three short hair dogs that shed like crazy, a baby who is now climbing, jumping, and drooling all over the sofa, and also another grown ass adult that likes to spill shit on the sofa from time to time, and I'm not just talking about me, okay? We're gonna get into it. I'm gonna show you guys what I'm using and what I'm doing to keep my house tidy and clean. I really love watching these videos, and I also love filming them because at the end of the day, who doesn't love a clean and tidy home? That's what I'm looking forward to the most at the end of the day is having a nice clean space that smells amazing. So if you guys needed a little bit of cleaning motivation and a sign to just get your shit together, this is it. Let's get it, let's go, let's do it.
Now I know what you're thinking. We're gonna tackle this room later. If you guys follow me over on Instagram, then you probably remember this backdrop from the little Easter party that I threw for our family. I'm gonna take it down now. This is actually the same backdrop that I use for my son's first birthday. Ulysses made this out of plywood. We did record the whole thing, but I feel like it's a little too late to upload like a little birthday vlog. I didn't really vlog during the party, but I vlogged like the decorating process, so. Yeah, I don't know. He made a rocket too. It came out super cute. So I wanted to reuse it. So I put this little grass on it that I got from Home Depot. This came in a big roll for like 25 bucks. We flattened it out and wrapped it around the plywood and just screwed it in. It's not pretty in the back, but it looks really pretty from the front. Yeah. One thing I'm doing in this clean with me is I'm actually gonna be using a little robot vacuum and mop. This one is called the Robo Rock. I've had it for a while now. I just haven't been able to use it because I couldn't find the solution. Every time we try to buy it, it was out of stock. We used to have a Roomba and that only vacuum. So I'm really excited that this one is like a two in one. I'll have to update you guys in a future clean with me to let you guys know how I feel about it, but we're gonna get it started and we're gonna get it going just because I have a lot to do and I think this will be a lot of help. So while my little vacuum does its thing, I am gonna clean up the kitchen because there is stuff everywhere. I need to figure out like organization, storage, all of that. I think I may save that for another video and also do my pantry too because that's looking a hot mess. But for now, we're gonna clear off all the counters, wipe them down and put everything in the sink that needs to be washed.
would be lying if I said I wasn't the slightest bit tired. The time right now, it is 10.02 at night and I've been at this pretty much since like one o'clock. So nine hours straight, which is wild. The entire downstairs is clean. Like there's literally no mess, no clutter. Um, what I wanna do though, before I head to sleep is I need to baby proof the cabinets in the kitchen because Atlas loves to go in there and he loves to pull everything out. And in the beginning, I really didn't mind, but now it's becoming such a headache and a pain in my ass. So I already started baby proofing here. As you can see, these are locked. He cannot get in these. And what I went ahead and did is I did the locks that don't show. So these are locked inside. You just hold the magnet here and it releases it, which I freaking love. Locked again. So very simple, very easy. It comes with two magnets. So I have one in this drawer and then I also have one in the kitchen. I pretty much did all of the drawers on the bottom. He hasn't really been able to get into drawers like this. So this one is not locked, but once he's able to get into these, I will lock them as well. This one is not locked because I wanna show you guys how to do it, but this one is locked. So these are the brand of cabinet locks that I went ahead and picked up. They're magnetic, like I said. I did get them on Amazon in a pack of 20. I actually ordered 40 locks because I'm doing these, I'm doing the kitchen, and I'm also doing my master bathroom because I'm telling you, my kid is just like, he is all over the place, but super simple and easy to use. I'm just gonna pop it open and then show you guys how it's done. And the instructions are also like really, really easy. You wanna take this and make sure the lock is facing upwards. Then you wanna make sure these two hooks here are at the top as well. You slide it on and then you take this little connector here and you slide it into the two hooks. This here is gonna go at the top of the cabinet and this is gonna go against the cabinet door. It's a little hard to explain, but they do have a video on how to install it on Amazon, so check it out. The way this stays in place is with 3M tape, which is awesome. It's very, very sturdy. I'm telling you, Atlas has not been able to pull this open, which is great. Let me tell you, this is something I really underestimated for a while get the magnetic cabinet locks. It will honestly save you, it will save you your sanity. I am one happy mom. <laughs> Ulysses did end up helping me out because I was getting just way too tired. Don't mind that. This kitchen is literally falling apart as the days go on. Literally cannot wait to remodel this. But in the meantime, Atlas cannot get inside. And he cannot cause a mess in the kitchen. There was no better feeling than waking up this morning and seeing how clean and just like clutter free the downstairs is. Like, ugh. I told you Lisey's and he was like, yeah, I definitely feel the same. I don't know what it is, but whenever my house is like super messy, I just like get very, very stressed. And I feel like a lot of it has to do with the fact that I'm overly consumed with work. I have to take care of Atlas, I have to cook. And then when the house is dirty, it just like overwhelmed me. So I feel at peace a little bit. I do need to finish up and wrap some things up from last night. Like I need to put these covers back onto the cushions, set them upright so that way they can fully air dry. And then I also need to clean the powder room and I need to clean underneath the stairs because the closet under there, girl, it is a hot mess.
clean. The only thing I'm waiting on for the living room are for the covers to come out of the dryer. These are the only covers that I put in the dryer. Everything else I have to let air dry. And for the most part, everything is really nice and dry. One last thing, I took all the chairs off the table once the vacuum was done vacuuming and mopping. And I think it looks cute. I also moved this vase here. Probably not gonna keep it here, but it'll do for now. It looks a lot better than on that little wet bar that you saw earlier, so. Cute. All right, so let's go ahead and talk about this closet here. I definitely feel like something that we're really bad at is just taking our shoes upstairs when we're done with them. We kind of just stuff all the shoes in here. We stuff Atlas's stuff in here. We have like a little mini pool, weights, a basket that I need to return, just a lot of different things. Originally, this was supposed to be just like a storage closet, but one thing led to another and there's just too much shit in here that doesn't belong. So. I'm gonna pull it out and we're gonna get to organizing. So, so far, I really cleared out a lot. I took out a lot of the shoes that were up here. I kept about three pairs, a pair of sandals, Vans, and Crocs for Atlas, and then me and Ulysses walking shoes and a pair of Forces that I think are Ulysses. I put our workout shoes down there, some weights because we do work out in the living room from time to time. And then in here, I have a bunch of like curtains that don't fit my house. I don't know what I was thinking when I bought them, but it's way too late to return them. So I think I'm just gonna take them out of here because they're just taking up unnecessary space. And then over here, I have a bunch of his toys. A lot of them are just unorganized. So I'm gonna go through them, figure out what he's gonna play with, what he's thrown out of, and all of that, because sometimes I feel like he just has way too much stuff. So this is what the closet looks like. I think everything looks a lot more organized. I went ahead and just split up his toys so that way I could do a little mini toy rotation. We have minimal shoes and then we just have me and Ulysses bag there, diaper bag down there. I know it's not like aesthetically pleasing, but it's functional and it works. It's actually been a couple days since I last talked to you guys. I finally finished the downstairs. It is squeaky clean, but now I have to work on the upstairs. It's a hot mess up here. I'm telling you guys, like, I feel like I clean my house every day just to clean my house every day. It's just a never ending cycle of motherhood work and just day to day life stuff over here. So just know when I'm not uploading beauty videos, I'm probably cleaning my house. That is it though. I hope you guys got some major cleaning inspo in today's video. If you enjoy these videos, don't forget to give it a big old like, drop me a comment down below, and let me know what you guys wanna see in my next video. I love you guys. Thank you guys so much for watching today's video. And until next time, I'll be sure to catch you guys all on the next one. Deuces.